today's obituaries are brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Funeral services for Edward Lawrence Smith, 56, of Hansville, will be at 1 p.m. tomorrow at Coleman Funeral Home Chapel, the Reverend Steve Rogers officiating interment in Coleman Memory Gardens. Coleman Funeral Home is directing and in charge of those arrangements. Peggy Humphreys Randolph, age 89, of Brooklyn, passed away Monday afternoon at Woodland Village. Visitation will be noon to 2 p.m. Uh, today at Holly Pond Funeral Home. Services will follow immediately at 2 p.m. at Holly Pond Funeral Home Chapel. The Reverend Chris Washburn will officiate with interment in Brooklyn Cemetery. Funeral services for Dorothy Weathersby, age 90 of Cullman, will be at 11 a.m. on Friday at Welty Cumberland Presbyterian Church. The Reverends James Payton and Hewlin Murphy officiating with burial in the church cemetery. She will lie in state at the church from 10 to 11 a.m. on Friday. Moss service is directing. Visitation will be 6 to 8 p.m. tomorrow evening at the funeral home. Funeral services for Glenn Douglas Thomas, age 75 of Vinemont, will be at 1 p.m. on Friday at the Corinth West Methodist Church. The Reverend Dudley Brock officiating burial in Corinth Cemetery. Mr. Thomas will lie in state at the church from noon until 1 p.m. Moss service is directing those arrangements. Mark Miller passed away on Sunday at his home and services, of course, will uh, be at Center Grove Baptist Church. Uh, Stanley Kilgore will officiate with burial in the church cemetery. Moss Service Funeral Home is directing arrangements. Funeral services for Mary Ellen Morris, age 81 of Vinemont, will be at 11 a.m. tomorrow at Coleman Heritage Funeral Home Chapel. Brother Vernon Willis and Chad Albright officiate in Termit in Ebenezer Cemetery. Coleman Funeral Home is directing. A funeral mass for Sister Mary Stella Williams, age 84 of Coleman, will be at 3 p.m. Friday at Sacred Heart Monastery Chapel. Abbot Cletus will officiate. Coleman Heritage Funeral Home is assisting in those arrangements. And those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. There are moments in your life you want to remember forever. Preserve them in stone with the fine jewelry you'll find at Doug Doggett Jewelers in Coleman. Whether you're looking for the finest quality stones, designer jewelry, or a custom piece designed with your moment in mind, our knowledgeable and friendly staff can meet your needs. Selection, quality, expertise. You'll find all of this and more at Doug Doggett Jewelers. For your next unforgettable moment, come to Doug Doggett Jewelers in Coleman. As a local auto owner's independent agency, we are dedicated to assisting you in your time of need. We live and work right in your community, and we're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Fortunately, emergencies don't happen every day, but when they do, we're here to personally see you through. For life, home, car, and business insurance, call us, your local independent auto owner's agent today. As soon as you've conquered Coco Vin, there's chocolate to souffle, there's baklava to build from scratch, and Bernays to top epic fillets. There is you and your guts, and heat that you can trust. KitchenAid Even Heat technology gives you incredible control over sautéing, melting, and simmering, and the most even baking across all racks. And when everything you try turns out, there's so much more to make. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. 
and remember the same friendly personal service and we're open on Saturdays. presents today on two. It is Wednesday, the 12th day of November, and the weather has started to change. Yes, it has. Boy, have you paid attention to what's happening up north? Yes. Woo! Yes, I have. Yes. Oh, we have nothing to worry about. No, we don't. Compared to a foot and a half of snow, mm -hmm. temperatures at 30 to 40 below zero. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. And we're just kind it's of on the southern right. part of what do they call this? A winter vortex, or uh, yes, they came up with like some that. name yeah. a couple of years ago. Yeah. But uh, the weather is going to be unseasonably cool for maybe the next two weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so get used to it. Yeah. Let's I start with it. the weather. Brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. We start with the weather almanac for the 12th of November in Coleman. The average high is 67. We're not going to see average for quite a while. Average low 38, the record high 80 in 1985, the record low 18 in 1987. I don't think we're going to worry about a record low, but still it's going to be cool. Mm -hmm. In the 20s, huh? Yep. Sunset at 445, sunrise tomorrow at 618. There you go with the uh, satellite picture. And here's our forecast for today. Remember yesterday it got to be about 70. 56 for the high for today. For tonight's overnight low, 32 freezing by tomorrow morning. The high tomorrow, 46. Here's the extended forecast for the weekend, 44 on Friday. Look at that temperature Saturday morning, 25. Okay. Oh, 53 on Saturday and 49 Sunday, 44 Monday, 42 on Tuesday. Like I said, this weather is going to continue for the next several days. Pretty good chance of rain on Sunday and Monday also. I see that, yeah. So get those winter coats out. Hmm. Sweater and jacket time. Yep. Oh, boy. Okay, who's our Facebook friend for today? Let's take a look at that. Bridget Williams is our Facebook friend, and she likes Grumpy's Italian and Law and & Order. So we're going to reward her by being our friend, by giving her a large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. Just come by here first, pick up that certificate, take it on over there, and eat something a little different other than Italian. <laughs> eat some barbecue for a change. <laughs> Well, we've been talking about a lot of special events that take place in November yep. in Coleman, and another big one is just around the corner we're going to talk about today. Right, Farm City is upon us, and of course here to talk about that is Miss Lisa Van Gundy and Travis Gress. They're going to give us all the details. They're on the board. I think uh, Lisa is the chairman. Is that what your position is? Okay, very good. So we're going to learn all the details about that. Farm City is always a great, mm -hmm. a great thing for Coleman. It really is. That's coming up next. Stay tuned. Okay. Finders Keepers is a unique and fun shopping experience. Lovely antiques, collectibles, or vintage items, we have what you're looking for at Finders Keepers in downtown Coleman. Furniture, repurposed items, and treasures from the past, they all make the store a fun place to shop. Fashion accessories and even original art are offered by local artisans. It's truly a unique shopping experience. Merry Christmas from us all at Finders Keepers. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. 
on your own home furnishings is locally owned and operated by Dan Stevens. Offering bedroom furnishings, including mattresses and bedding, living room furnishings, including sofas, lugs, and recliners, dinettes, appliances, and more. Not in stock? We'll order it. King mattresses starting at just $5.99, queen mattresses starting at $4.99, and adjustable beds with queen memory foam starting at $14.99. Great prices, brand names, cash or payments, free delivery, $20 for referrals. Located at 315 4th Street Southwest. Call 256-734-4545. We make it easy, you make it happen. choose color, to see it, to feel it, to be in it, to be upon it, and to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. Keep going. Well, we told you we're going to talk about the annual Farm City Banquet, and that's just exactly what we're going to do. Our guests today, Lisa Van Gundy and Travis Kress, our guests today. Lisa, what's the date? When is it? November the 20th at uh, 6.30 is when dinner's served. The doors open at 6, and it's at the Civic Center. That will be our grand finale, the banquet. Yes. Oh, right, right, because this has been going on, well, we used to talk about a week, but really it's several weeks of activities. Kind of almost a month. Oh, well, well <laughs> and it's turning into a few months. Yeah. We, we started with the Farm Y'all. We helped with that. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the Farm to Fork dinner okay. at uh, Wallace. And so that's that was what, in August? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. August 16th. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So okay. we've been going since August now. Right. Well, this is such an agricultural mm -hmm. um, area. And, of course, Travis is on the committee, but he's also uh, a farmer, a real mm -hmm. farmer. And we were talking about that earlier because kind of I live out on that road. We all would call it Crest Road. <laughs> and, uh, and I know that your family has farmed sweet potatoes, and, and most recently you've been farming strawberries. Mm -hmm. But you've added something new to the to the mix. Branching out into peaches, it's been a, a long time investment. When mm -hmm. you plant them, it takes three years to get into production. So we're really hoping to get fired off in that sector now to kind of extend our seasons. By the time strawberries are wrapping up, we're going to go into peach production. Right. And I know peaches, we're, we're in the south, and peaches do a good job. Do you need, I, obviously we're not too far north for you to grow peaches. Right. It's a... Uh, Sometimes we struggle with our chill hours mm -hmm. if we have a real warm winter, but Clanton seems to be making it fine. If they can mm -hmm. get their chill hours being that far south, we shouldn't have any problems. But there's appropriate measures we can make to ensure that our crop will make. Now, how about the freeze? Does that bother you? Uh, it did last year with it being so late. We mm -hmm. had trouble with our frost laying when some of our varieties were in bloom. Okay. Uh, so we struggled there. but. Our later varieties picked up. We run eight different varieties where when one variety starts to play out, we got another variety coming in. So we start in May and run through August with uh, different varieties coming in every two weeks. Okay, very good. All righty. And is it a very labor intensive type of thing or? It, 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 staying on your schedule, as far as spray schedules and scouting, that's the main thing, knowing when to do something. Uh, I've been into more labor intensive. That's one reason I got out of sweet potatoes and went to <laughs> sweet potatoes. It's hard to beat the labor intensity of yes, sweet potatoes. Yes, because uh, that has to be planted by hand, doesn't it, pretty much? or? Yeah, we do everything by hand, from digging by hand to mm -hmm. planting by hand. Uh, and also, the, the farming is kind of my side. I still work a full-time job for the Soil and Water Conservation District oh, here in town. Okay. Along with serving on other committees such as Farm City right. and other committees I'm involved in. So okay. the farming is a, a full-time part-time is what I call it. Yeah. And the real part-time ends, we start another 
or full time, we start another full time job. Yeah. Oh my goodness, <laughs> very good. And then Lisa, of course, you uh, work with um, uh, Farm Alabama Farm Credit. Uh, mm -hmm. Alabama Farm Credit. Okay. So it's kind of a natural for right. you to be on this committee, and you're the chairperson this mm -hmm. year. So obviously, you've been serving on this committee for a while. I think maybe five or six years. Okay. All righty. Very good. And so this is really a, an opportunity for us to highlight, I guess, the agricultural part, but also there's always every other year there's a family, the CD yes. family and then the farm mm -hmm. family and things like that. Tell mm -hmm. me a little bit about that. Uh, we do uh, alternate that each year. Mm -hmm. Last year uh, it was Jeremy and Julie Calvert. They were the, or are the 2014 farm family. Okay. So we just recently uh, ended our nomination on the city family for 2015. Okay. So the, that family has been chosen, and uh, it's a secret. Okay. <laughs> now, will that be revealed at the dinner? Yes. At the banquet? Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay. this year, we're doing something a little bit different with that. We are honoring the nominees, because it's oh. an honor to be, yeah. be just selected. nominated. Uh -huh. Yeah, definitely. So, um, you know, that, that's something new this year. Mm -hmm. And then we also uh, have got something that we want to announce this morning oh, that will okay. be part of the banquet, but we can announce the winner this morning. I'm going to let Travis do that. Okay. Well, we, we had a contest this year with our sponsors. We got great sponsors. And uh, mm -hmm. without our sponsors, anything we do would not be possible. Right. So, kind of had a contest this year when they sponsor we saw many business when they sponsor they get to display a logo proud sponsor of so-and-so event so we decided we would do the same thing with farm city when a sponsor we give them a sign we'll throw a trick to it we said if you'll decorate our sign with our lo our slogan mm -hmm. this year which is agriculture 365 sunrises and 7 billion mouths to feed if you'll decorate to that theme we'll judge them based on the theme and harvest theme and displaying our logo and we would provide breakfast to the winner oh, uh, okay you'll see many of the displays around town uh, we're gonna announce the winner on your show today the top two uh, at the banquet you will see the top two displays displayed on the stage okay uh, so they'll get to show their logo second place this year was Regents Bank oh very good and first place which was really outstanding was Merchants Bank uh, if you want to see their Very display, good. it's at the Coleman location off 31 on the hill. They've used okay. antique tractors, antique trucks. It looks really great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, like, is it a poster or what is it? Or is it an actual <laughs> picture? It's or? a typical placard you see in the yard. Okay. okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Just our Coleman County Farm City. Below it says sponsor. You just have to incorporate that sign into your display. Okay. And then also our logo for the year. So they're actually doing a display. Mm -hmm. Okay. They'll be, uh, like I said, the top two will be on display at the banquet. They put them outside their business. And uh -huh. on the 20th of November, we'll ask them to move them to the Civic Center to be on display I at our see. banquet. Okay. 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 So you can drive by and yes. see it. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. They're, okay. They're out there now. Very mm -hmm. good. Okay. And I wanted to go back real quick, like the city, um, what kind of criteria does that family have to meet in order to be even nominated? Okay. You know, we think of city family as mm -hmm. Coleman City, mm -hmm. right. but it doesn't have to be. Right. It be just as long as you're not by Mont Hans mm -hmm. or wherever. Mm -hmm. Okay. As long as you're not earning your living by farming. Okay. You're considered city. Okay. So uh, that's that's just about it. It's not that difficult. Uh huh. Uh, the application isn't to complete. It's uh, what qualities do you think make this family the best city family? Okay. Okay. That's and okay. then next is community involvement. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, so it's it's not that difficult to complete, and we have those applications on our website. Okay. Uh, ColemanFarmCity.org, and that's how. Uh, people can go in and, and nominate a family. So we've got them for this year. Right. But but be thinking about uh -huh. for next mm -hmm. year and everything. When do you start taking your uh, nominations? Well, you can do it as soon as, as this year is over. After okay. the banquet, just mm -hmm. start, you know, thinking about a farm family. And I guess, you know, it's really on your mind this time of year. Right. You know, right around banquet time, too. You're right. thinking, oh, I wish, you know, they should be or whatever. Mm -hmm. You can go in there and do it. I mean, it may, the heading on the application may still say, you know, 2015 city family. Right. Just print it out, mark that to 2016 farm family, and fax it in, and, and we'll have it. Okay, 
very good then. What will the entertainment be at the banquet this year? Oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be a young, contemporary, uh, energetic bluegrass. It's called, the group is called Flat Lonesome. Flat and Lonesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have some Coleman ties uh, with a oh. Robertson. Dalton Robertson is yeah, the sure. grandfather. Okay. And he, I believe he has three of his grandchildren are in the group. And I believe there's six, six or seven in the group, and three oh, of oh. them are, are his grandchildren. So okay. he's going to be front and center there. <laughs> at the banquet. And what's the deadline for the tickets to purchase a ticket? Well, we have said the 14th, which okay. is this Friday. Okay. But uh, if by some chance you hadn't been able to, they'll still be there through the 17th at many of the local banks. All right. Uh, now, my office has those, the soil and water, uh, Coleman Economic Development, the county office, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, mm -hmm. and many of the of the banks, most of the banks do. So um, they're fifteen dollars. Okay. I mean, that's a so great price. A bargain. Sure yeah. A mm -hmm. nice meal. And who's going to cater the food? A uh, touch of uh, grace. Designed by, by Grace. Yes. Hey. <laughs> You're close. That's I'm close. Okay. <laughs> so the food will really be good. Mm -hmm. It'll be awesome. And then you've got entertainment, and it's just a great opportunity to get together and be with some mm -hmm. like-minded folks. So mm -hmm. just come really on fun. down. But buy your ticket by Friday. Don't mm -hmm. wait till Monday yeah. to do it. Buy it so that way y'all can get a good head count. Right. That's yeah. exactly why we have to have a deadline. Right. To yeah. To have you a make sure count. you have enough food mm -hmm. for everybody that's, that's right. there. But don't expect to just walk up to the door and buy a ticket that night. Correct. Not gonna happen right all righty well great guys thanks again we appreciate it thank you, you. all righty stay tuned we'll be back with a little bit more right after this Let's go. 50 Omaha set hot losing feeling in my toes nothing beats that new car smell Chicken parm, you taste so good. Nationwide is on your side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I sell paintings of cats. I sell antique cameras. I sell mufflers. Surfboard stemware. I have no idea how to pack this. You need help. I need experts. It's fragile. Can you be trusted? The UPS store pack and ship guarantee. We pack it, we ship it, we guarantee it. So if anything happens to this, we'll take care of it. I love logistics. We pack it, we ship it, we guarantee it at the UPS store. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising, and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Let's give away some stuff. <laughs> we have stuff in the closet that we want to give away today. Actually, some really new exciting items like a free haircut or wax courtesy of Hair by Loretta. <coughs> Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue is giving the Family Barbecue Pack as one of the prizes for today. One more to go, two free cupcakes from Frostings. Those are the prizes for today. We're going to show you some ads and then ask you a question about one of these ads. So turn that turkey loose and let's see what our ads are today. We're getting a lot of mileage out of that. Yeah, you know that? We do. Mullins Body Shop, over 50 years, they've been doing auto body repair, towing and service. You can count on them each and every day. 
256-734-1353. And the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Blizzard is the blizzard of the month at Dairy Queen. Check that out. Well, wouldn't that be awesome? Of course, don't forget they have lunch specials and all kinds of great deals at Dairy Queen. The Red Door Emporium, a really unique place serving breakfast and lunch. It is artfully delicious because it is also an art gallery as well as a restaurant. <laughs> and Earl's Body Shop voted Best Automotive Repair in Coleman. They have large and small towing available, local or long distance, 24-hour service, located right there on Highway 31 North. Tommy Warhurst. Tommy had a birthday yesterday. He sure did. Yeah, Farmer's Insurance Agent on Highway 157, right by Specialty Pharmacy. Call Tommy. And Be Fit, a fitness facility in downtown Coleman, right next to Renard's Gallery. It's $100 per month, month to month with no contracts. Membership includes a free personal trainer at Be Fit. Chesley Oaks Golf Course, open seven days a week, a full 18-hole golf course. Four sets of tees to suit your ability on County Road 1583 in Fairview. And Steel Orchard, the highest quality products at the lowest possible price since 1985. Buy your fresh hand-picked fruit from over 20 different varieties of apples at Steel Orchard. Casa Cafe has specials every day and a buffet on Friday and Sunday. Of course, they have tacos, fajitas, burritos, and more located across from the post office. And the Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center has fitness opportunities available every day. They have day passes available, but why not sign up for that month-to-month -month thing because it's really a good deal. There's Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. This is the prize, one of the prizes for today, the Family Barbecue Pack, valued at $14.99. Frosting's Cupcakes, where they have flavors of the month, Payday, S'mores, Banana Walnut, and Caramel Pumpkin. Oh my gosh, awesome cupcakes open Monday through Saturday. Okay, quick question for today. Tell us one of the flavors of the month at Frosting's. Wow. We just told Whoa. you that. I don't See even how know well you're remember. paying attention. I don't even know if I can remember. <laughs> Tell us one of the flavors of the month at Frosting's. And you win cupcakes from Frosting's. Mm -hmm. You win barbecue from Mad Dog Mike's Barbecue. Hair by Loretta doing a haircut or wax. Right. So those are the prizes for today. Go ahead and give us a call at 256-734-7399 while we watch Money Matters brought to you by Premier Bank. Hi, I'm Caitlin with Premier Bank and this is Ashley. Today, Ashley's going to tell us a little bit about our Christmas loan sale. We are currently running a Christmas loan sale. Stop by one of our 10 locations and fill out an application to see if you qualify. Certain restrictions do apply. If you have any questions, you can call us at 256-737-9900. Thanks, and we hope to see you soon. Once again, our telephone number, 256-734-7399. We're looking for one of the flavors of the month at Frosting's, and that was the last ad that I we know. had on. Think of some fall-type flavorings, you know, yeah, that you would that's have. That's a good, good yeah. clue. Yeah. Okay, we don't have any calls for today, so we'll keep the prizes and give those okay. away on another day. Here we go with the rest of our merchant ads. Cotton State Barns, you can buy or rent to own. There's no credit check. You're automatically approved. Barns starting at $14.96. Cotton State Barns is on Highway 278, right by the interstate. And Jolly Time Rentals, licensed inflatable slides, water slides, optical courses, bounce slide combos, and concession equipment rentals available at Jolly Time Rentals. Deb's Bookstore is your hometown bookstore where books are always on sale. Used books, half price every day. New books, 20% off each and every day. Tires for Less, featuring Bridgestone and Firestone brand tires, but they can also do the oil changes, minor engine repairs, shocks and brakes, and so forth. All-you-can-eat lunch buffet at Pizza Hut every day from 11 till 2, priced at $6.49. Pizza Hut on 2nd Avenue North. And Grand Point Pharmacy, where they have coffee and gift items. Stop in if you need a quick gift, but kids can also now choose the flavor of their medicines at Grand Point Pharmacy. I want to pick my flavor. Yeah, medicine. go for it. Yeah, Berkeley Bob's Coffee House and Whole Earth Store, where you can get lattes and mochas and all those specialty coffees and bulk tea available at Berkeley Bob's. 
in hair by Loretta she's the color specialist hair care for the whole family color highlights body waves straightening waxing and spa pedicures all available call for an appointment today Mr. Hicks menswear and formal wear, Coleman's only specialty store for suits and sport coats. That means they can fix up just about any size guy, regular, big and tall. Those are the merchant ads we have for today. We'll be right back and look at our community billboards and see who's celebrating a birthday on the 12th of November. <coughs> On Your Own Home Furnishings is locally owned and operated by Dan Stevens, offering bedroom furnishings including mattresses and bedding, living room furnishings including sofas, legs, and recliners, dinettes, appliances, and more. Not in stock? We'll order it. King mattresses starting at just $5.99, queen mattresses starting at $4.99, and adjustable beds with queen memory foam starting at $14.99. Great prices, brand names, cash or payments, free delivery, $20 for referrals. Located at 315 4th Street Southwest. Call 256-734-4545. We make it easy, you make it happen. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service and we're open on Saturdays. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. Let's take a look at those community billboards brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. Tamika and Friends fundraiser will be taking place as a benefit dinner and concert on Thursday, November the 13th from 6.30 till 8.30 at St. John's Church. That would be tomorrow night, so if you're interested, please purchase a ticket by giving them a call at 256-531-5912 or go to cjpowell1842 at gmail.com. And Ben South, so southern. The Seven Keys to Coleman. It's an original comedy starring Tanya Miller, and it's going to be on Sunday at two o'clock at the Wallace State Borough Center. It's just five dollars, and of course, proceeds are going to go to help Coleman caring for kids. Tickets are available at the door, or sponsored by the Coleman Tired Teachers Retired Teachers Association. And Spurs Ministry, that'll be taking place on Saturday at the Mission Grove Baptist Church. It's a special service, starts at 1 p.m., it's free of charge. Chance Hill will be working with a young, unbroken horse, and it's located right there on County Road 1610 here in Coleman. Sacred Heart is having their annual spaghetti dinner and bazaar on Saturday, November the 22nd in the Family Life Center. Homemade spaghetti, slaw, bread, dessert, and drink included. $8 for adults, $4 for children. Give them a call at the church if you want to buy tickets. And we do have, uh, of course, our community billboards are brought to you by Pepsi and uh, Coleman Jefferson Gas. And if you're interested and need to, uh, for us to talk about something, send it to channel2coleman.com or give us a call 256-734-7399 or be a friend on Facebook, Channel 2 Coleman. And we need to wish some happy birthdays here to Joy Harris, Jerry Carr, Lyle McClendon, and Sean Bartlett. And of course, their names will be put into the drawing on Wednesday, where they on Friday, excuse me, where they have that possibility of winning an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. Now let's check the weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. It's going to be cold and colder for the next few days. High today 56, low tonight 32, high tomorrow 46 degrees. 
about 20 degrees below normal. Yes. It's going to stay that way for a few days. Yeah. That's it for today. Thank you for watching Today on 2, brought to you by Premier Bank. I hope you have a great day.